As Nigerians demand an end to bad governance in the country, political affairs experts, analysts rather, who spoke on the station's flagship program, DG360, say the action of protesters is a revelation of the difference in citizens' interests amid the nation's e alien economy. They add that the destruction unleashed by protesters in the north shows the level of marginalization suffered by people in the region. While calling for calm, the experts urge the government to engage citizens even more and backtrack on implementing policies. The protest is becoming very clearly demarcated between those who are, to some extent, elitist, uh, uh, vanguard leaders a uh, lot of stake and uh, then the lumping proletariat who have been left to hang around without jobs without education without any means of good livelihood and uh, that has always been the nigerian mix and uh, the protests are showing that clearly it is also showing clearly the disparity in poverty between what is in the far north and uh, what is found in some parts of Nigeria. Uh, Sokoto, for example, has a poverty rate of more than 90.2%. Zamfara is in 80-something. Uh, Katsina is in 80-something. You go to Jigawa, Borno, and those places I have a poverty percentage rate of about 80 plus percentage of their people are in abject poverty. So mm -hmm. the culture of looting has uh, found itself very much in Kano. And another aspect is uh, with Kanu, there is an insinuation that uh, political involvement of political parties, hmm. because the opposition in Kanu arranged young people to celebrate an appointment into a federal government by one of the key persons, according to insinuations I had. And so it is possible that uh, that must have been used to encourage young people to come and uh, make the, uh, the, the protests as bad as possible for the state because of their relationship with the federal government. That is a possibility. I tell people, you can only speak for yourself because the way you are protesting about um, the activities or lack of government, there are people also who are protesting against you as one of the oppressors because you look comfortable. And there are people who also do not understand the reasons you want to protest, but also are feeling, those are the people that feel the hunger the most. How do you organize those people? How do you coordinate them? Especially in areas where there is so much hunger, where there is so much poverty, and there is lack of education. So a uh, protest can be peaceful, relatively peaceful, in areas where you have a um, high level of education, but in areas where the education is very, very minimal, you really cannot be speaking about being peaceful. And in some cases, what they understand by, by protest might not even be about food. Protest to them might just be about going to destroy. Yeah, these are the people that have been oppressing us. And, and that's why you find out that during protest, you would think everybody would be peaceful.